Hello friends, welcome to Technique. This is Nirmal here and in this video, we'll share some of the tips, tricks and features of the Moto One Action UI. So Moto One Action is the latest smartphone which is priced 13 in India and comes with quite good hardware. It has Exynos 9609 Octa-Core processor with 4GB RAM and 128GB storage. And this device is under the Android One platform which means you get all the software updates on a timely manner. So in this video, we'll talk about some of the features uh, you can try out on the Moto One Action. So first step, if you want to customize the notification and acute uh, toggles, so you have this option to edit it. So just click here and you can see that there is an option to edit uh, the toggle. So you can just drag and rearrange them. And once you're done, you can go click go back and uh, those will be saved. So that's the option to customize the notification toggles. Now let's go to the settings panel. So here in the settings panel, uh, if you go to the display settings, so under the display settings, uh, you can see that there is option to uh, change a uh, few options. So one is that there is you can enable the night light. So night light is basically uh, turning on, uh, uh, it adds a tint, uh, tint to your screen amber. And this makes it easier to look at the screen uh, uh, and uh, while reading in dim light, this helps uh, uh, you to fall asleep more easily when you are using the device in the night. So that's the option, uh, that's the night light. Now, if you come down, you can see there is an option to select the colors for the display. So you have the option of uh, natural colors, boosted colors or saturated colors. So this is good. Uh, if you want the natural colors, you can turn on that option. If you would like uh, uh, really vibrant colors, uh, we suggest you to go with the saturated colors. So that's another useful option available here. Then uh, if you scroll down, you can see there is an option called device theme. So device theme, what it does is it will change the color of uh, the UI based on uh, your wallpaper. That's the automatic version. Then uh, you can go with light or dark variant. So there is no complete dark UI, but what it does is uh, you can see that uh, the notification toggles are now dark UI and even the app drawer is now dark UI. So that is uh, basically you can actually select based on the wallpaper or you can uh, go with a darker theme uh, from uh, the display settings. Now, next step, uh, let's go to uh, the Moto Experience. So Moto Experience, uh, we have a uh, really useful options. So Moto Actions has uh, uh, these options. So these are like really useful option. Uh, quick capture, you can see that uh, twist your wrist uh, twice quickly to open the camera anytime. Then uh, fast flashlight. Then you can turn on the flashlight on and off with uh, two chopping motions. One button now is there. That's what we have enabled right now. There is a three finger screenshot also included and a leaf to unlock. So we'll show you all these features one by one. So the first option is uh, quick capture. So just we'll show you this option. So I'll just uh, twist it and you can see that uh, this opens the camera app. Now let's go to uh, the chop twice option. So you can see that uh, when I chop twice, the flashlight turns on. You can chop it again uh, and uh, this will uh, actually uh, turn off it. So that's another option. Then there is one button now. So that's what we are using right now. So you can just swipe here to, to go back uh, for multitasking. You can see that you, if you go want to go back to the previous app here, here you can do. And then uh, if you want to uh, show the recent key, you can go this way and click on it uh, to go back to the uh, home. So that's the option here. Then apart from that, uh, there are additional options uh, like uh, uh, we'll just come back there. So three finger screenshot. So just, just swipe with the three fingers and you can take a screenshot of the screen. So that's another useful. And uh, there is lift to unlock. That means you can just uh, lift the device when it is locked and uh, face unlock will uh, use it, use that feature and it unlocks uh, without having to turn on the di display. So that's another useful feature. Then uh, you have this Moto display options. So peak displays interact with the notifications and more uh, while the screen is off. Uh, so when the screen is off, uh, you can see that notification and uh, all the uh, uh, options will show up there you can also uh, do a safe reply and you can also select the uh, level of details to show while uh, the display is uh, turned off and also it is locked then there is attentive display option this is the uh, prevent the screen from dimming or going to sleep while you are looking at it so if you are reading something from the device this is uh, something really useful uh, this won't turn off the display as long as you are uh, uh, looking at the screen so that's another useful option in the moto actions then and another feature is the digital well-being feature so this is available on all the devices now so this is basically uh, will let you know what all you have been using uh, say right now you can see that 26 minutes today with the device and you can see uh, i've been using twitter facebook chrome camera moto app so all these things are included and how many times i've unlocked the device notifications which have come all those things can be uh, shown from the digital well-being app 
Next, uh, we'll show you the Dolby output. So this is uh, the Dolby audio. You can see there is a smart audio option. Then uh, if you want to listen to music, you can switch to music option. And if you're watching a movie, you can go to the movie mode or you can go with the smart audio. Based on uh, whatever app is playing, you get the Dolby audio. And by default, all the sound coming from the loudspeaker is Dolby enabled. So those are the features available on the Moto One Action with the stock Android and under the Android One platform. So hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button for more videos. This is Normal signing off. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.